his fly had told who was the only one. Uh oh. But it's too late. It's too late. Keep going. You sweat up, and I ain't talking. Uh, here with my girl Laura, and she's been in Korea for one year and gone back home. Plan to be back in Canada about mid January. Mm. So, before Laura takes off, I thought it would be a really cool idea to get our experiences and uh, kind of compare experiences. So, I'm really curious to know how Laura experienced Korea. <laughs> Okay, so we made a list of things that we're going to talk about, um, insecurities, dating, like maybe some rudeness that she's experienced, you know, that I've experienced, and yeah, so let's just jump into it. Yeah, well, I think for me, being in Korea, definitely brought out, I mean, everyone's got their insecurities. Don't get me wrong. Insecurities I didn't even think existed. Yeah. I mean, you feel do you feel like you're more insecure here because you look different? Is it because of um, maybe could it be like body issues or or anything like that? Um, I think I think when I first got here it was it was a bunch of insecurities coming out all together, just being in a foreign country, mm. being put into an atmosphere that I was not used to at all. Um, and then it was looking different, definitely. Yeah. I mean, coming to Korea, uh, I would be what you call overweight. Um, so that definitely made me very uncomfortable. I mean, it was a constant reminder being in Korea that you were different mm. to be a larger woman. Um, so I mean, yeah, I always had that insecurity. Um, so I think that was motivation for me. Mm -hmm. That was probably one of the biggest motivations to lose weight <laughs> in Korea yeah. was going outside and seeing women with two, three babies, uh -huh. and if I get out to here, I was always, I don't know, it was just, it was, it was, it's hard, mm -hmm. it, it's, you try not to be, like, self-defeating, but it's, it's hard to see women with babies, and then just, oh, yeah, oh. well, but for the most part, like, Korean women are super royal thin, and when I yeah. first met you, like, I didn't think your size was an issue, I thought you... I just felt like you were like a full figured woman, you know? And for me, like, I always tell my co-teacher, I want to be bigger, you know? Like, I'm a black girl. Like, I'm supposed to have, I'm supposed to have thighs and booty, you know what I mean? Like, booty pop, 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 booty popping everywhere. And like, I just feel like, like, that's what I want, you know? And people are like, oh, Korean guys don't like that. I don't care if Korean guys don't want booty popping everywhere. That's what I want, you know what I mean? But I understand what you're saying because when you live here after a while yeah. you start seeing everybody look one way yeah. and you're not that way and like even for me like you know my biggest issue is hair like you you always hear me complaining about my hair and just like which I don't know why because <laughs> I love her hair yeah but you know like every time you see me my hair is done but to the point for me to get like for my hair to look like that, I went through a hell week, a week of hell where I didn't know what to do with my hair and like it's just terrible. So like, and then I see these women with long, beautiful, like flowing hair that's just beautiful and amazing and like, I'm just like, they even make, there's even a Korean song about long hair and how it's sexy. You know that song? And like, I don't have long, flowing, sexy hair. So like, after a while, like, that started to beat on me. Like, you know, like, I wasn't real thin and just, I don't know, I just feel like after a while, you start to have these insecurities because you look different. You don't look like everybody else, you know? But after a while, <laughs> we turn that into an advantage, right? 
So if you come to Korea, I think everybody's gonna go through that. When you first come here, you definitely go through it. But you, go like, through, you go through a transition. I mean, it's funny. Um, I don't know what it is, but when I've traveled to places, and even being in Korea, it's put me in moods where I would just want to go home and not talk to anybody because I just I've never felt the way that I felt sometimes being in Korea yeah. so uncomfortable in my own skin and it, whatever people can make fun of me I can laugh with them like yeah no big deal but I don't know it's just I, there have been moments memorable moments for me in Korea where the stairs are so just it's not rude in their culture to the to stare, stare you into your soul stare burn a hole in your soul it is and where I'm from in Canada most countries it is considered rude ask time to fight Right? Like, if I just you're walked gonna by start, you, you and know I was, you're gonna start something. Right? If I was just like this, you're gonna be like, what? Let's like, stare down. Yeah, it's time to fight. But, uh, so then that, that guy said, what to you? So he told me, he's been in Korea for a really long time, um, and I've tried to take it with me when this situation happens, but he pretty much gave me this advice that Koreans really do have good intentions. They are some of the nicest people he's met and that I've met too. And so he said try not to think of it with such a negative connotation. And I think that's one of the drawbacks with being in a foreign country is sometimes you carry with you the us versus them mm -hmm. and that you always go to this negative side or you always think that they're judging you or yeah. you think that they're picking little things about you and yeah, critiquing yeah. you and what are they talking about. The girls are whispering and laughing, they're whispering. and then they're, they're looking at you. They're always talking about you. Yes, exactly. They're the looking at you, or then they're talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you make everything about yourself. That's yeah. what I always think about that. I'm just like, when we first met, like, we always had this joke, like, it's us versus them. And, like, it's so hard not to think it like is. that. Like, because really, it is us versus them. You know, you cut me in line. It's me you just cut, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't do that to another Korean. Korean. Yeah. But they do. But they do. I know. And they put. They just don't other, think. Yeah. They just don't, they don't think about it. There's so many people in this country that they don't have time to sit and stop. And like, it's like, when it's time for a seat to get on that bus, hey, they're booking. And if you don't book, if you can't beat them, join them, right? Exactly. Like, when I'm in a club, sorry, sorry. I say, even in Korean, Biane. Biane. To everyone, yeah. yeah, trying to squeeze through an aisle. Biane, Biane. You they all laugh at me. Whole night, Biane. Be, 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 that's what I do. Be, be, be they all laugh at me, and I'm just, I don't know why you're laughing at me. Yeah, I don't know. What I did they say? Else. But so, what did that guy say to you? Sorry. So he pretty much said that. Um, don't always think of it in such a negative way that they may not be talking about you. Yeah. They may, they could be looking at you saying, oh, is that her natural hair color? I've never seen that color on some girl before. Or yeah. I've never seen someone with so many freckles before. They may not be staring at you, critiquing you. They may be yeah. staring at you. They could be admiring you. Or they could just be looking at you being like, wow, I've never, I've never seen someone looking like that before. And I think that is the super truth because, like, um... There's been times where women have just been, like older women, young women, they've just been like, just looking at me, you know? Like, and I, I don't mean like one eye is going off to the side and they don't want you to know you're looking yeah. at them. Like, it's a just like this. Hold on. No shame no in blinking. their game, not even a blink. Like, how your eyes not water? How your eyes not even tear up? Like, not even a lizard, like, nothing like <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that, just a straight like death stare. And right when I got seriously ready to be like, what do you want? <laughs> you know, and like turn around and be like, hey, uh, can I help you? They'll turn around and be like, oh, yepura or yepayo or you're so pretty, you know, or you big eyes. And it's just like, well, damn. Like, then I feel all small inside, you know, because I became that person and, like, I let something like that bother me. 
it doesn't really matter if people are staring at you. I mean, most of the time, I don't even notice it now. But I went out with my friend, uh, Paul. I don't know if you met him, the black guy. But he was like, don't you notice all these people staring at you? And I'm like, some days I don't. And then some days I do. And those are the days I normally notice that people are staring at me when something went wrong at school. I was going to say, work. you're in one of those moods. Yeah. And that's the thing. You're already in a bad mood. So you just kind of take that snowball effect. And yeah. then all of a sudden you're turning these looks into, all right, yeah. well, bring it. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and one thing about that is, Sometimes I have to wonder, am I being overly sensitive? You know, like, am I reading too deeply into this? Is, am I seeing things there that's not really there? And, uh, you know, like, uh, my friend Danielle from the fish market video, uh, you know, one time we had gone out with my Korean friend, and uh, we were trying to get into this club. My, my guy friend, he wanted to go to. We waited in line, we get to the front, the, the guy at the door says something to him in Korean, and my friend just about faces, leaves, and I'm like, are you serious right now? Cause I know we just didn't stand in line. I didn't stand in line back home, and now I gotta come to your country and stand in line? Like, see, I stood in line. There's another. See, and I did it. <laughs> so like, you know, I'm already mad I gotta stand in line, right? Down with the common folk. The west of us. <laughs> Are you serious? And then my friend, he couldn't even look me in the eyes and like tell me like <laughs> Korean only. And I just heard Korean only. And it was like everything slowed down and it was magnified. Boom, 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 boom. Korean only. And I'm like, what does that mean? Korean only. I know they land white girls up in here. Okay. So Danielle and I like schemed up this plan to like freaking have uh, Laura and then you know her friend Amelia go in there and then we just jump out of nowhere like both from both sides talking about we knew y'all was letting white girls in we knew it was because we were black we couldn't get in but the next day <laughs> in like a passing conversation she was like yeah we tried to get in a tin pan and they were like it's Korean only yeah. so like. Some things like it's us just versus them. it's us versus them. <laughs> it's not the way it really seems, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just. You know. My boy. I thought I was being a good friend by keeping her boyfriend's friend by just being good company, and then all of a sudden this girl drops. Soon as he gets up to go to the bathroom, there's been a mistake. You got my man! <laughs> Sam, two choose it. Take them to the show and talk all through the movies. Just you want.